They're gonna right. Here we go. Boom. Here we go. Here Boom. we go. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. Boom. Mm-hmm. Boom. You know that TikTok. No, I don't know yes, what you said. Here we go. 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 No. <laughs> we obviously don't have any yeah. of the same stuff on our TikTok. You keep saying, first of all, the first TikTok that you said, you described it something different. So I don't. I think I'm pretty good at describing TikTok. No, you only described the music. You didn't describe the whole TikTok, which was basically um, that original TikTok. And then I told after you that. the original one. No, you didn't. Hi, guys. Oh, as I leave. Welcome to Pretty Savage Talk. Welcome to episode. 11. 11 of Pretty Savage Talk. 11. Thank you for tuning in in advance. Yes, so from, I mean, this is pre-recorded. Yes, this is our first pre-recorded uh, episode, so it's a little different. Um, we're not going to have as much feedback, obviously. Well, no feedback. We y'all can be- comment when we post it. Yeah. So when we post it, of course, y'all should comment. We want to hear y'all comments. We're going to respond back to y'all comments, mm-hmm. however y'all mm-hmm. feel. Yeah, y'all y'all can still engage with us. It's just not exactly live. Yeah, only because. But bear with us because we are going to be getting this, the hang of pre recording and most of all of our shows thus far here on out. Whichever, whichever one, here on out, right? Yeah, here for here on out. out. Yeah, until, you know, further notice. <laughs> our shows will be pre recorded. So. Yeah, because we got jobs. We got kids, jobs, all of that. Life. It's like, nah. I wish I could give some of it back, but. The kids, specifically. It's like, nah. I'm back. Okay. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, not. I'm cracking. <laughs> Something literally wrong with you. Like, so the I'm first good. thing that we're going to be talking about, it's going to be like men and women, basically. Like, you know, yeah. that's going relationships and stuff like talking that. We love talking about relationships. Yeah. We do love talking about relationships. Not that we, like, have been the most successful people in them, but. Man, that's how you become successful yeah, in them. Learning Experience. Too, you know? We're learning and growing. And I saw this meme that said always. Let me see if it's going to I think you saved it. I did it. I, I, it's on my tour page. I know I didn't refresh it. We know what the hell we be talking about, though. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, I just feel like... Basically, it said just don't stop, like, learning and taking advice and, you know, things always like that. Growing. Always we growing. Still, we still hella young. So, you know, it's always growing and learning from experiences. Yeah, don't... You learn from experiences. The good and the bad. All right, so so the first thing, let me stop before I get on you. It's, I just saw something I wanted to watch. <laughs> it says so. Our first question is, or not question, but it's basically the how men, right. yeah, how men fall in love versus how women fall in love. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So there was that. This is when the Mary J. Blige TikTok came in. Okay, yeah. Who so, watched Kanan? Raising Kanan. No, that was from Power, wasn't it? Oh, I yeah, have no was, idea. I haven't was, watched um, Power or nothing. This quote was from. Um, Episode, sorry, season six. I don't know what episode. You're gonna have to watch it for yourself. Or I'm pretty you sure watched it? a lot of people are. Yeah, you watched the power? power. Yes. So you watched the power when they was talking about the little boy. That's who was involved. Like power, like um, what's his name? Son. Yes. You watched that whole thing? I have not watched that. That, that Mary J. Blige was from uh, not the not the power, power with two. Yeah. yeah, power book two with yeah, I watched the, the son. Whole thing. Oh, I did it. <laughs> I, I just stopped watching yeah, it after I watched, what's it called it. Good, I, I stopped them. watching it after what's it called it because um after it, both. yeah I just felt like it was no need. Nah, keep watching that shit. It's good. I can't. I'm stressed. Play the TikTok. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you send it to me or yeah. was it or was it on TikTok you sent it to me? I, I sent it to your message to Did I? Is this it? You'll never find. Oh. He falls in love with the image of himself. He sees in your eyes. Oh, Thank you. Oh, basically. <laughs> All right, say that. I guess. So basically, she's saying <laughs> men don't fall in love with us women, like who we are as women. They fall in love with the image that we see them as. Because, you know, we always see the best in men, most of us at least. Stupidly, most of the time. But, you know, um, that's what I took from it. 
I don't know. I felt that it was kind of not true. Yeah, I don't Only think it's true at all. I think I when I was reading the comments because I read the comments. I too. think that's a hood chick's mindset. Yeah, it's, honestly. Yeah, that has to be honestly true. Because I honestly really believe I, I believe a lot of things, but I believe that <laughs> men. I believe a lot of things. <laughs> that men fall in love with the chase of you, like. It's, I mean, of course it can be, and men can fall in love with your personality and how you look. I feel like a lot of men are shallow, so of course the look, yeah, like how it's, you look. It's never who you really it's are always, at first. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's always, who you really it's are. always how you look on the outside. It's superficial. So like, they, they fall in love with I how mean, you look me first. me too, because if you ain't fine, I'm not falling in love. See, that's not me either. I, I like, like okay, niggas. I like personality. Like I just feel at like, first though, nah, you no 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 no. I swear I, to God, because you don't even know somebody's personality at first. You, you like, get but you they, the person first, and then you be like, okay. But I feel like there's a lot then of guys you get to know them. Then you get a personality. Person, like. <laughs> no, but I feel like you can show me a lot about your personality, about a personality of how you pro- approach me. Yeah, but so if you approaching me like, hey, how you doing? Like my name is this. Um, I wanted to know like if I could take you out. I you would don't look you, at you don't look at how he looks. If his teeth fucked up, yeah. <laughs> Like, if you're smiling at me and your teeth messed up, but if you're not, like, Shamara ugly, then yeah, I'm not going to talk to you. See? What? Shamara ugly. Who is Shamara? The flip side man that look like this. No, I think he was talking about Shamar Moore. Mm. That's what you said, you too. Mm. Mm. <laughs> no, I was talking about that famous TikToker whose hip is broken, and he looked like short, and he looked I'm like crying. this. I'm talking about that man, Freesa was. Oh, my God. You know how many people talk about him on TikTok? You're yeah, right. He but now he better sue all those people. Like he suing nobody. He better sue everybody on that TikTok. But I'm just saying, like, you gotta, I mean, it's not all about looks for me. Like, no, you don't no, have to. I agree that it's not all about looks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I feel like that. Because I feel like a lot of men yeah. approach me who weren't the best looking men. Like, I really feel like you, or they I weren't. Why they had the audacity? <laughs> or, like, I'm not. Why they all have the audacity? Because a lot of ugly men could have money. Like, a lot of ugly men could be doing what a lot of good looking men are doing. Like, yeah, I feel like I that agree shit. With that. So, I really feel like, like, it's, it's about your personality. But you can't be, like, tore up. It is like, about your personality. But I feel like first impression, mm-hmm. at first glance, yeah, it's going to be looks. <laughs> it's going to have to be looks for me. Because I'm not even going to be able to, like, Concentrate on you, on but you know you with you ugly. The crazy thing is, you know how I am. I'm gonna be looking at how ugly you are. See that? I don't know, like because I really, you know, for me, like I can't really tell, like who's like I can, of course, I can tell who's butt ugly. Like, oh, okay, this man yeah, is just like super unattractive. Don't, don't approach us. Like, yeah, you know, or that's you know, what I'm you know saying. That. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm saying like medium ugly though. Yes. Yeah, like I'm just saying, like you know, like you're not gonna always look like Shamar Moore, right. or like you're gonna look like the guy from Power, so or, or Idris Elba. Mm. Like you're not gonna always get those type of good looking men because yeah, most of those good looking men are narcissists. And unfortunately, God don't make them enough, or don't make them like that no more. I don't know. He don't make enough of them. Yeah. Right. I'm, I mean, they just probably not here. Where for us? <laughs> I like where. I'll go, I'll go where they at in this state. I'll go where they at. <laughs> I'm cracking up. So yeah, so I just feel like um, a lot of men fall in love with superficial, like not a, no Im- image of you. Like what? No, I don't. I don't agree with that. I just feel like he falls in love with the chase at first. Well, he falls in love with your looks, and then he falls in love with the chase of getting you like, because he love. You, yeah, yeah lo- men love a good chase. They, that's what turns them on. That is drives, you turning that, them? That drives them like nothing it does. Else. Like oh, I'm gonna get this girl because she. I, if you are playing or if you're just hard to get they just love that and then when they get you that's when they be like okay i got her what's up what else yeah please don't don't do that but hopefully like that's there's some men out there who do fall in love with your superficial and then fall in love with the chase but then fall in love with you after getting to know you like yeah. your personality of how you are and they just like oh this girl makes me better like this girl makes me want to get my life together if this girl you, if you me mature me. enough to like yeah it's a, it's the maturity level and yeah, a lot like, of men don't have that or a lot of women are not mature enough to accept the man that's ready for that or something so like i mean it goes both ways but i don't i don't know i mean he falls in love with the image of himself that he sees in your eyes. How, how do you see that? Like, how do you I don't see know, that? What, she's so hood. And yeah. this, this show, what are you talking about? <laughs> What I could, the crazy thing is when I first seen this, I just couldn't relate to I'm it. I think that's why I didn't save it. Oh, because I just, time, but... I'm just like, what's she talking about? Like, like he falls in love with the image that he sees himself inside of you. What the exactly? Let's, let's that unpack that a little bit. Yeah, because like, what exactly that? What He's image that he me. sees inside of me? What's some of the comments? Let's see the comments there. Okay, so that was the first thing because when I first saw it, it's like false men like women who don't like them back. 
For real. Y'all really do. And vice and versa. And vice it versa. says, Bessie, you might be wrong. I boost his ego. He still left. For real. I think that's maybe that's what she's saying. Like, maybe uh, with, with yeah, you boosting yeah. his ego, that's, I don't. They, I feel like, yeah, guys know that we see them. We put them on a pedestal even if they ain't shit. Yeah. We, we always boosted up our guy, no matter what. Like, we, tr- yeah, we at least should. try. And men do fall in love with that. And then they, for one, they do appreciate it. They take it for granted. They do. And it still is. Like she said, still leave or still do whatever fuck they want to do. And this is why, that's why I always say, like, some men just have that little bit of narcissism in it. There's a full-blown narcissist. I feel like every man has a little bit of, a little bit of it. And yeah, because it's like you're obsessed with yourself. And you want other people to be obsessed with you. Yeah. And you're not all that. Yeah, at all. You're just like, a bag of chips. You ain't even a sandwich with the bag of chips. I need the whole thing. You the clip off the can of soda. Like, I just... Damn. <laughs> and then it's just like, damn. Damn, I just got it. <laughs> no, for real. And then somebody explained it. It says what she meant sh- when she said this is you make him think it's lit it means if you make him feel like he won a prize prize a prize by having you bad and smart i don't see people slow i can't even i can't even decide sometimes i hate reading why can't you talk right why can't you speak english or and type it well like what uh, What, what i don't know i couldn't understand it i'm skipping it because what are you talking about somebody gonna say never mind him love yourself he'll still get hooked and as soon as the shoe doesn't fit send him on his way and tell him why you did it that's love I ain't telling that nigga nothing. If I want to move on, I want to move on. Yeah. I got to tell you shit. Some, a man said it's the other way around. Women stay with you as long as you fulfill their expectations. And why should we settle for less? I mean, yeah, we're going to stay with you as long as you're doing everything that you're supposed to be doing. Is that a relationship? In a relationship. I was just about to say, why should that go both ways? Why would we stick around if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing? That doesn't make sense. Yeah. That, when there's other niggas out here that, could, that will do what you're not doing. Cause as soon as as soon as it's the, as soon as it's the other way around, we not doing something that they want. They cheat. Yeah, they go look for it somewhere else. So yeah, why exactly. shouldn't why shouldn't we? So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, why are women allowed to have expectations, have standards? Like, why are we not expected to have a man that's on the same level as us? Hold on. That doesn't make no sense. People be commenting, don't be making no sense. I don't understand that. Shut the hell up. That's what I want them to do. But yeah, er, uh, oh, I had posted something that said this. Did you read this? Please let me record. Uh-uh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Please let the record show that I am no longer uh, I don't ask for much kind of woman. I ask for a lot. I require a lot. I also have a lot. Yes. Of yeah, true. If you're doing a lot for me, I'm going to do a lot for you. If you're doing shit for me, I'm going to leave you. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm not going to stick around it's, it's while not, you're doing nothing yeah, for me. Yeah, and some people be person. like, oh, if you're, I'm going to do the same you do to me. That's not me. Like, I'm not that type of person. And like, we're not talking about monetary. We're not talking about giving us money, buying us gifts, showering. I got my own motherfucking money. Yeah, like, we're and not I, talking about that. And that's yeah. where what a lot of guys, you have fucked up. Oh, I just want a nigga with money, da 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 Well, you can't be broke. Yeah. If I'm not broke, why are you broke? But at the same time, that's that's not all we want is your money. Like we want y'all to be able to commit. Compassion. To like why can't y'all? Yeah. Like, like why can't y'all have compassion? Why can't y'all love me for my personality? What's, the, what's so hard about it? Like I can I can give you what you give me. Like we can be the same. Like I can give you giving me a lot. I'm giving you. Like it's a it's a working reciprocity. Yes. Like, but if I'm if I'm not broke, why are you broke? I'm not going for a, bro- a nigga that's broke. Like that that just doesn't make sense for me. Yeah. Like, I, I didn't, I'm not starting from the bottom. Then we get there. Like, fuck, started from the bottom. Now we're here. No, That's I started, I already started from the bottom. I've been here. It's so a like, lot of work. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Especially not trying to say that women, but women should be allowed to have standards. Y'all have standards. The expectations. Y'all have, uh, what's them things called? Like, y'all, what y'all want in a woman? Like, right. Like, I can't, we have. That y'all ain't never going to find, because y'all be having these highest expectations with nothing to offer. If you're going to have high oh. expectations, then you need to have you know, you need to be able to offer the same things that you're requesting. Exactly. That only makes sense. That. So, like, that's that's a little nuts to me. Very to nuts. Her, to Not think. a little. Very nuts. Well, yeah, so that whole thing was basically I just feel as though I don't agree with what she said. I don't know what the hell she's saying. She she <laughs> she definitely was in a drug game. They in that type yeah, of drug that situation. Shit. That hood shit. So I don't, what I got from that was nothing. And second of all. Right. Not saying that hood relationships can't be, you know, successful. But what hood, like specifically what hood, like hood has expectations. Like we talking about hood involved with drugs and shit or like in the hood mentality. I feel like the hood mentality is worse than 
and all that other stuff. Yeah, like if you if you if you you know selling drugs to you know make a way for yourself for the time being, okay. But if you it never works out just, like that, right? It don't. But if you just got a, that hood mentality and you always gonna have that, you don't try to change your ways. Yeah, I don't know. know. That's different. Yeah, that is. Yeah, different. Different. Oh, I'm scared, man. We didn't even talk about how men fall in love. What we did? That's how women fall in love. Women fall in love completely different than men, though. What you think? Yeah, but that was that was exactly that. That's how we said it. Like men fall in love with superficial, yeah. like superficial first. <laughs> And then they love and fall in love with the chase. And then once they get you, it depends on the level of the man's maturity. Yeah, you of gotta be if he can already. be, yeah, basically, like you right. know, and be so, yeah. So he got you, but like while he's chasing you, mm-hmm. he gotta be falling in love at the same yeah, time. Yeah, he is. It is. If he not, then once the chase is over, he gonna be like, oh. yeah, and that's what they do. I think that they, it, some men can decipher, like some men can fall in love with the chase and getting to know you at the same time, mm-hmm. but. Some men just fall in love with the chase and then little boys. This, yeah, little kids. Boys. But yeah, so, but women, I feel like women fall in love, you know, I mean, a lot of women, like you said, looks. And, but a, lot, and a lot of women fall in love with the potential that they see in a man. Yes, which I feel like limits women sometimes. Yes. That limits women, but I, I just want to say, like, a lot of women are, comp- a lot of women are compassionate. Like, we're born, like, to nurture. Yeah, like, I just we're nurturers. Like, yeah, like, so, like, we fall in love. Like, of course, we, we some women are sat- shallow. Not saying that it's not allowed. I mean, it's a preference. Like, mm-hmm. you know, they want you to be looking like Idr- Idris Elba when you first approach them, which is fine, because I would love that, too. <laughs> No, not but, at the same, but at the same time, if you're just like you a media a little bit deeper, yeah, like yeah, like I, I, I fall in love with people who can make me laugh, like who can, who can, you know, humor is yeah, sen- yeah, sense of humor is really big for me, like because I love to laugh, like laugh, laughing re- relieves my stress, like that's big for me, like mm-hmm. I laugh in situations that make me anxious, like it's just, it's just the way I am, like so, like. A sense of humor is just big for me. So that's why I'm saying, like, you don't even have to be, you don't even have to be the good looking guy. But if you come up to me like, hey, how you doing? I saw you from across the way. Like, you know, like, if you got some swag with you, I'm not going to look at your looks. I'm going to see how you approaching me, like how you present yourself to me and how, how respectful you are as a man coming up to me instead of saying, hey, yo. Yo, yeah, we yo. Have I would never respond to a nigga that's yelling me. You would never get my attention. I would walk right past you. I do not I care about none of that. Are, yeah, no. Point. If you're trying to get my attention, you could. And be I'm walking over himself. You ain't gonna yell me. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, absolutely not. Like, approach me. Say say what you need to say and be like, hi, how are you doing? My name is this. Um, I'm from here. Can you take my number down? I would love to take you out. That's just how. That's just traditional. A yeah, a gentleman tradition. I don't know. <laughs> Not traditional now, but whatever. Yeah, don't pay no. But that's how women. I, that's how I feel like women fall in love. Like they fall in love with how you present yourself, and then how you, when they how get you, you yeah. are treated. If yeah, you treat you, a woman well, nicely. And yeah, and that's why all I'm trying to say. Like, if you respect a woman and treat them well, they're going to do the same back. It, it's it's just comes that way. Like, I'm, if you doing everything for me, I'm gonna do for you. What happened? No, I thought I broke something. But I fixed it. <laughs> I'm looking at you like, what's she doing over here? <laughs> but yeah, like, it's just the women are not as, I feel like women are not as shallow, but women, you know, can fall in love with men who are, you know, respectful. Respectful, a provider, funny. Loving. Yes, compassionate, caring. And like you said, pe- women do fall in love with the potential, potential of you. And I, that has been a lot of women's mistakes for staying yep. long in a in a, a toxic relationship. Yep, because and you see the potential that the, most of the time. Because they, they do. don't even see the potential. Oh, no, yeah. No, and they never see the potential. They don't see the potential they have in themselves, but their woman does. Which is why I always say women carry black men. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Like, we carry y'all. Like, we see so much good in y'all, and y'all just don't see it in yourself. And we can't give that to y'all. Yeah, I keep hearing shit. We can't make you see it. Ain't nobody here. I'm scared. I locked it. Oh, locked this in? Mm-hmm. Who gonna let us out? I locked the deadbolt. Oh, ah. okay. I'm like, who gonna let us I'm out? I'm crying. But yeah, so, um, what was I saying? I'm cracking up. <laughs> but yeah, that's how women love. I mean, that's how I love. Yeah, women are definitely, and I feel like women love harder. And sure. fall harder. They do. And faster. It is just how we are. Like I just have we are as men. Like it is. It just happens that way. We're we're emotional beings. We are emotional beings. That's just uh. And if you're not ready to unlock a woman's love, then leave her alone. Yeah, leave her alone. 
because women do love hard. Women do love strong, and they they will stay with you as with your ain't shit ass until you know they see their worth. Yep. That's why I'm saying ahead of time, know your worth. Yeah, because most of the time it's too late, and then now you lost yourself within that person. Yeah. So just be men, just be respectful, because women we can love. Okay, we know love. Ooh, I like this one. Okay. Like yeah, casual sex. Wait, no, 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 I don't. Yeah, but I don't think it should be. No, 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 no. I was saying, should it be versus loving? Because you could love, you could love make cat, but probably can't. Because it would just be too much. No, but describe that. That is a good one. I was just saying casual sex. I feel like feelings are gonna get involved if you if you if you really like. All right. So what you mean, like um, <coughs> one night stand sex? Like that versus love making or something like casual sex. Mm. So basically, what we have we have a topic of casual sex versus love making. Like, um, or can you casually have sex with somebody without being in love with them? And that that was what Mike Tyson was saying with his <laughs> funny. Yes. Yeah, so, or right, you want to play that video? Yeah, where is it? In my his lisp. Nah. If we have sex, I love it. Is it after this? Maybe it's this one. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Yeah, it is. There are two laws. One of them is make others come to you. Wait, you sent me this? There are two laws. Yeah. One of them is make others I come to one. you. I must have thought this you. was attached to this or something. I don't. That's why I clicked this. I didn't uh, click that. That one is a really good topic, too. Maybe it's this one. I don't like how they're showing up like that now. All right. Why and the they second doing law that? Is I don't know. That. Maybe it's in my TikTok. You, you sent it to me in my TikTok. No, I sent it. I think you sent it to me in my TikTok. It could be both. But I think you gotta hold it down so you can see what it is, like this. Wait for that to pop up. That's what I do, so I don't have to open it. See? Oh. <clears throat> yeah, it's right here. Oh. I'm gonna fuck you. I love you. <laughs> I can't fuck nobody. No. I'm one of those guys. It affects me psychologically. Okay, I guess I he feel like yeah, psychologically. So he's like saying that. that he can't have sex with someone without loving them, and I, like I that. and I agree with that. I don't have casual sex, to be honest. So I mean, um, casual sex happens. I mean, I don't. I feel like people just some people can just have casual sex and just be like. So is it possible to have casual sex? Just casual sex, like without feelings, without if that's what if that's some what people do it. It has to be both parties have to be on the same page. So if you're gonna engage in a whatever relationship situation that is just sex, casual sex, both of you guys have to be on the same page with understanding and knowing that it's just casual sex. Other than that, but I feel like that's just never it never works out. Like I really feel like having casual sex and saying, "Oh, friends without benefits, things like that." It does not work and that's on a women's part. Women, I feel, are very way more emotional than men. So like, of course, women are going to become attached after a while. Mm. And I feel like men it's it's easier for men to detach and women to attach so I, I don't I for one because I'm a woman and I understand being emotional and how I am so after a while I'm not going to continue if I decide that but if I realize that I'm starting to get into feelings and stuff like that that's when it'll become a problem for me and it, I feel like that happens with a lot of women to yeah, be I feel like that could happen but I don't agree with the part that you know women always get attached first or anything like that because you can have casual sex if y'all both on the same page whatever if you're not looking for nothing else, it's possible. And in a lot of circumstances, yeah, one or, one or the other party or both start to catch feelings. And that's because having sex with somebody is, you know, a transfer of energies. So yeah, that's is it right. possible? Yes, but more than likely, one, one, at least one party is going to start having feelings. But that's not an issue. All you have to do is have a conversation about how you want to proceed. I don't think you should keep having sex with that person if... If you have feelings and you know you starting to have feelings and that other person is not really showing the same type of energy as you, I don't think you should continue to have keep having sex with them without a conversation being had. That's where that's where the miscommunication and and all of that happens is because one person catches feelings and then they try to 
whatever the case may be, avoid the conversation or try to just assume that they're in a relationship now because they caught feelings. It has to be open co communication if you're going to have that type of relationship. Most people just don't be wanting to talk. Don't be wanting to speak up about how they feel. So that's how I feel about it. I mean, a lot of men, um, what he's, like what Mike Tyson said, like a lot of men don't think this way. Like, oh, I'm not having sex with you unless I have feelings for you. A lot of men don't do that. So it, he's like one in a million yeah. to think that way because a lot of men, like I said, can have casual sex and be okay with it. And it might not mean anything to them. Yeah, and it, it just be regular. I was... I don't know. I just don't. I don't engage in stuff like that. Well, you like don't got to talk about it from your personal experience, but how do you think? I mean, it's not. Thing? Well, a lot of it is from a personal experience about how I feel. So I feel like I can't give an honest opinion unless I'm, I'm like, okay, have I been through this? Or have yeah, I I'm, been no, through No, I'm that? asking, have you seen it be successful elsewhere? No. Not that I feel like. I feel like a lot of people, like you said, one of the parties is going to get in their feelings. And I feel like it's just sometimes it can be healthy, sometimes it can't be healthy. Like I don't, I don't. Communication. I just don't. I don't know. I just, I just feel like it just, it's not it's, for everybody. It just can become complicated. It's not for everybody, and if it's not something that you can handle, then you shouldn't be involved in it. You yeah, like a lot of people shouldn't, shouldn't, or you know, if you y'all both on the same page, then it will go great. If y'all not on the same page, which it will eventually come. Like I promise you, it will eventually come. It might not come at that second or within a few weeks of y'all doing this casual sleeping together but it will come feelings will come it just always happens that way for me but i just feel like not for me like personally but like mm -hmm. like i just feel that way like especially because like i said women are emotional beings it's, it's true like these this is fact women are emotional beings like it's just i don't know the women the women are today are different very different they're still emotional so i feel like it's easier if it's easier to just cut stuff off Especially now with the with the accessibility we have to internet, social media, and all of that, it's easy to cut it off and, and keep it moving. I mean, there's a lot of men out there, so that's why it's so easy. Like, okay, this not working for me, I can move on. All right. The next one is, who do you think cheats more, men or women? I don't know, honestly. Um, I feel like everybody thinks that men cheat more. Because men are dumb and sloppy. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. So, yeah, it's so hard. It's gonna make it, it seem is. like you know, men are the more more. They easy get people. caught. Yeah, they get like caught. they so get caught. Easy. Men are put in the spotlight for cheating more because they get caught. Yeah, and it's true. They get caught. They're they sloppy. They don't really. I feel like men don't care. Like y'all don't care if y'all get caught cheating because it's like they don't. You know, what's gonna happen to me? Really? Either the, either the person that they with is gonna take them back. Or they're not, and it's just gonna, they're gonna move on. Like, I feel like they don't really care about the consequences. And I don't know, I, that, does that, do I feel like that shows who you are as a person? I do. It just, it gives me, like, that you feel like you can do whatever you want, no matter the consequences, no matter who it hurts, no matter who it affects, which is selfish. Right. Yeah, men, like, I mean, men are very selfish. Men in general, like, in, are way more selfish than women. They think about themselves, only themselves. <laughs> and they don't give a fuck about nobody else unless they like crazy in love with you. That's And even then they still might cheat. I don't know. And it could be re for reasons other than, you know, it, it don't got to be necessarily because they don't love you. Yeah. It's just because they can and they yeah. can get away with it. And they like the their ego, like, voice, like, they love that. Like, they love that they can know that they can get girls or, like, they can get people outside their relationship and they get away with it. They, they like the with thrill. Like, yeah. yeah, they love the thrill of it. Like so, and not saying that women don't either, because a lot of women love the thrill of sleeping around too, and while being in a relationship, it is true. But like, I mean, men, men just like to do it for fun. And a lot but of no, women in the crazy, we gotta have a reason for real. Yeah, but a lot of women, like you, if you take a census, like a lot of women cheat because they're not either they're not getting what they need from in their relationship not saying that men wouldn't cheat the same way but women are not getting what they need like women will come to you first and communicate with you and say i need this i'm not getting this i feel like you're not you know expressing yeah, men, yourself to me men don't have a reason 
yeah. women always have a reason. Most of the time. Like I say always. It's always just, oh, I just wanted to sleep with her. And it's like really right, just for like, some new pussy. Well, she was coming on to me. I ain't know what to do. And what? stop. And I want y'all to stop this. Cheating is not a mistake. You had time to think about that before you got to that point. Please stop saying it's a mistake. Oh, it was a mistake, babe. It would never happen again. It was never a that's mistake. Not lying. We have you had talk. time to think about when you was pulling that girl's underwear down before you stuck your penis out and all that other stuff. So, like, please stop saying cheating is a mistake. It's not a mistake. You intentionally did that. Like, it's an you intentional thing. about yourself. At the time. Exactly. And yourself, you wasn't thinking about nobody else. Yeah, you were thinking about yourself and how to get off. Just say that. And stop lying when y'all get caught, especially when the girl <laughs> already has proof. We yeah. have, first of all, we know, they everything. Like we know everything. I literally can feel it in my bones. Yeah. Something's wrong. Women's like, intuition is I good. I feel that shit. But I, I also that said shit. that men's intuition is also good. Like when you are, yeah, when a man, y'all niggas be dumb. I feel like when man, a man is getting cheated on by a woman, and, be, and he knows that he's doing everything he can to be with that woman, like he's not doing anything behind. He knows, like yeah, if, he, if he faithful, he knows. Yeah, he exactly. Knew, he don't give a fuck. Yeah, he ain't gonna honestly. figure it out. Yeah, so like. I mean, a man's intuition can be good if he's doing what he's supposed to do as a man, and a woman is just drifting off and stuff like that. Yeah, but like, but we be knowing, so it's no yeah, point women's trying intuition, to lie your way out. Yeah, of it. women's intuition is just too good, and like we Most know what's going on. Proof to back it up. So. I think it will lie. You walk into him on in the bed with the girl and be like, "It's not what you think." What you mean? Y'all watching too much fucking TV because it's exactly what I think. <laughs> what should you I be thinking? What should I be thinking? Is she? What did? What is the girl helping you do here? Like while you're in our bed? I'm about to help you <laughs> and her. Right in y'all heads <laughs> with a bat. To have but, a little bit less brain cells. Yeah, because y'all got be messed up, and then y'all just that's just so condescending. Like it's just so disrespectful. Like y'all, you literally lie in my face, and I'm telling you right here that this is you. Like here, it's proof. And you're like, no, that's not me. That can't be me. I would never cheat on you. What? That's sick in the head. Y'all lie regularly. Like, that, that is just sick it don't, it don't even phase y'all. Like that's just a. That's really just a sick person to just genuinely like. And the scariest thing is that you believe it yourself. Like the fact that you can just let it roll off and like lie so long. Them shits just rolling out your mouth. You don't even think gotta think about it no more. It's just funny. That's sickening. <laughs> I really think that that's just crazy to me. That's a mental issue, ain't it? It could be. Diagnosis? Probably. Psychopath. Ask some of these goofballs. <laughs> I'm like, ask some of these goofballs out here. I don't know. What's the diagnosis? Psychopath. Narcissist. <laughs> yes. Pathological liar. Yes, manipulator. Like, y'all got to cut this out. Multiple personality disorder. I'm cracking up. That was scary. I'm like, that was scary. I don't like that. It's true, though. Oh, why do men cheat? Why? Yeah, we basically say why. Like, why we basically say like women. You know, it's more of a they're not getting like an emotional thing. Like they're not getting what they need at home, and that that man is giving it to them who they're cheating with. Like showing them attention. Why are you not showing your girl attention? Things like that. This movie, this hood movie that I watched like last week. (laughs) I'm screaming. You know, I do too. So Amazon Prime. Yup, the guy and the girl. I don't remember the movie. Paramount too. Paramount Plus got it. I don't remember the movie name. I would really tell y'all, but I don't know. It's just so many hood movies, I can't remember. But, you know, it was a couple, hood couple, obviously, because it's a hood movie. <laughs> but the guy, you know, was a big drug dealer, and so it was a lot of women flocking around him and stuff, and he was just sleeping with all, them, with all the women. I think I know what you're talking about. Right? And the girl started with that fat nigga. Oh, isn't that the plug? I don't know what it was called. I really he, don't remember. Plug Love? Are we talking about that real popular Plug Love movie? Mm-hmm. And at the end, it turned into, like, the guy set her boyfriend set her up yeah 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 it's yeah, called yeah. plug love yeah Everybody there you knows. go so you can watch it on amazon you know but that's usually how it happens you know she was doing everything that she was supposed to be doing in a relationship and he was still out cheating and doing whatever he wanted to do mm-hmm. and, and somebody be- came around that was showing her attention and taking her out to eat and doing you know doing stuff that her boyfriend should have been doing but instead he was out here cheating with all the thoughts in the neighborhood because he because men like that think that just because they have all this money and they taking care of their girl that he should be allowed to do what he want. Yeah, I don't like that. And the girl's just going to, his main girl is just going to always be around because she's taken care of. I don't like that. But financially, what about emotionally, physically? Why did? Why do you think women are going to stay around because you think that you can take care of them well? Because a lot of, some women do have that mindset. They do. Because you, you saw her friends in the show like, I don't know, he, I don't know, yeah. he'd be taking care of you. I wouldn't leave him. Yeah. What? He's not doing nothing else. Girl, but it's a lot of women like that in the hood now. Exactly. Like, that's really okay with, being like 
they okay with being taken care of and letting that nigga do whatever he wants. Yeah. Like, that's, no, exactly. that's not enough for me. Yeah, that's just that's just nuts. But I mean, yeah, it's a Teachers lot of women out there. Know. Yeah, there's a lot of women out there who are okay with that, but they're. Yeah, she should have just. For her first, she should have just got out because she didn't. She was cheating too. Yeah, she and that's how. That's what left, I. She could have left. Him. That's what I mean. Right for her anyway, that's what I'm saying. So. That's what I mean about tit for tat. I'm not that type of person. Yeah, or trying to like, have your cake and eat it too. Yeah, like, like I'm. You're gonna get caught up. It's it never. You're never gonna be able to have your cake and eat it too. You gotta yeah, pick one. Like, yeah, like you're gonna get caught up. It's gonna turn into a big thing. Yeah, like, like I'm gonna get you back, right? I'm just not that type of person. Like I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. It take too much energy Who's to sit there and be like, oh, he cheating on me? I got his ass. I'm about to cheat back on I him. I could just leave and get a brand new nigga. Yeah, like, right. Like, that like, makes me better. That's just too much. What you trying to hurt him for the way he hurt you? It don't make too no sense. Other niggas. Karma is going to get them. Like, people people have to understand that karma is real. Like, karma, if you're, if you're a good person, stay that good person. Don't change because he's doing this or yep. she's doing that. Yep. Be the good person that you are and leave. And just be who you are, and you it will come. Like, yeah, the, the goodness will come. come for you. Exactly. Like, stop thinking that, oh, I got to get him back. You know I got to get you back for that, right? I hate that. I hate so that. Got that like, I hate that meme. Like, you know, I got, I'm, you know I'm going to get you back for cheating on me, right? Like, no. That's dumb. Bye, bro. Karma going to get you. You can leave me. You can fuck all the girls you want to. But you ain't with me, so I don't care what you're doing. Yeah, I'm happy doing my own shit. Like, nobody got time for that. That's just funny to me, though. I'm not wasting my time like that. Because it's really the time that I spend, the time and energy I spend trying to get you back, I could have had a new nigga already. For sure. Well, I could have been out. I'm not I could have been out being the bad bitch that I am and getting the niggas I want. Period. Okay? Nobody got time for none of that. Oh, I'm going to get you back. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Like, like this might end up hurt in the hospital. Yeah, yeah. like, yeah. it can be bad. Why are you, why are you turn it. killing girls over, oh, my God. That's a whole other thing. Like, Narcissist. Y'all really be out here killing girls because y'all can't have them. Or killing girls because y'all are jealous of something that happened. Or That's sick. There's so many other girls out here. Same, you know, I'm not saying it only be men. It be women, too, out here killing niggas mm -hmm. because he cheated. Or killing niggas because he with a new girl. That's, that's why, insane. But like, that's why I say people got to stop playing with this type of tit for tat stuff. That's insane. Like, that has to stop. And that's what that girl in that movie, that plug love, she stayed with him and cheated with the, the his, 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 his employee so or whoever he was. Like, you playing with fire. You know he's a violent drug dealer. Like he has guns and all that other stuff, and you continue to just. You thought that he was gonna be okay with you cheating on him, like Even or he been cheating. Yeah, like niggas don't care. Is that and that's they what I'm saying. They can cheat like, a thousand times the, and still you cheat one time. Yeah, it's over. Like that made him cry all my night. <laughs> right. You didn't put him in a coffin at that point. <laughs> like it's just you. This is how men are, and like women. Like I just feel like. Don't do the tit for tat. Like, men either shouldn't do the tit for tat because men be playing with these girls, too, who are unstable and will kill you because you cheated on them. Yeah, we had a situation, didn't we? Yeah. In Camden. We, we can't speak about it, but yeah. if you know, you know. Yeah, like, I just, what? <laughs> okay. I'm talking about the two girls that were sharing a baby daddy or whatever, and one ended, one ended up getting hurt. If you know, you know. I'm not, that's all I can say. Yeah, about. I was about to say, I don't know. Yeah, so, I don't know. <laughs> Look at my face. <laughs> uh, uh, say it again. You want to hurry lips? No, it's hard for me. <laughs> oh. oh! You know, you know. That's all we can say. Look, it's not our business to be, you know, spreading. But yeah, that shit could get dangerous. Yeah, stop playing with these people. Like, stop people cheating. People really try Just to leave. hurt you. People yeah. really try to hurt you. Stop. Like, and I'm just like it's all about communication. Like if you're, if what's the reason? Get to the put it What's the reason about you thinking about cheating? Like yeah. or if you have like, what's the reason for you thinking about cheating? Cheating. What can your girl do or what can your man do to imp like? What can y'all yeah, improve have on? A conversation first. Before, yeah. Before it's, you put yourself in a situation yeah. that can hurt people. Exactly. Literally hurt people. It, it, and that it always comes back to communication. Like before you thinking way. about cheating, just have a conversation with that person and if you've had a conversation multiple conversations with that person leave that person and then decide to do whatever yeah. i just don't know i mean if that person is not treating you how you're supposed to be treated what mm -hmm. makes you think that that's the love of your life yeah exactly it's not if you're yeah. not getting everything that you want out of a person mm -hmm. try to find somebody that's going to give you everything that you want exactly and there is a person out there trust me if there's one thing to be selfish with is to be selfish with yourself yes 
Get know it, your it, worth. You want. Don't settle for less than you want. Exactly. Know your worth, man. Just know your worth. You are like know your worth. Know what you bring to the table, and that's it. Like you, you shouldn't settle for anything less than that. And that's where people go wrong at. Not. I feel like people really don't know who they are, or know their worth before getting into a relationship. Know who you are. Know what you want. Know and what if, you bring. Yeah, know what you bring. Like, don't be. And don't settle for nothing less. Exactly. Don't put up with no nigga or no girl that's not on the same level as you. Yeah. Or that you don't like. You know, not saying that people are not are not building themselves every single day, and you see the potential. Yeah, you can see it. That's fine. See it. <laughs> if you want to invest the time, then you know. Yeah, but go for it. If, if you really see the potential, and they see the potential as well, and you know it could be a positive end result. But right. If it's not, if you if you see a potential and that person is not, don't waste your time. Don't please. Because that time is you can't get it back. Yeah. And that time could have been spent on something else or somebody else. Yes. Really be saying that all the time. All this time I didn't waste it on men. Mhm. I could have been putting into the right one. Right. But that's neither here nor there, and it's already the time's already gone. So. So the next one is a man is only going to. Do right for the woman that they want. I agree. Us and us women need to understand that basically. So like, I wholeheartedly yeah, agree with that. that. Uh, not trying to say that men look like women need to understand this. A man is only going to do right for the woman he wants. For the and that's that's facts. That's literally facts. And a lot of women don't see that. Like a lot of women just think like, oh, he's just messing up right now. No, he loves me. Pay attention like, to what he do and listen. And pay attention. Realize the first time. Like, mm -hmm. don't wait three and four or five times and be like, hold up. Nah. Mm -hmm. If if a man show you who he is the first time, believe him. Yeah, for real. Believe like believe who he's done. Believe like, them the first. Stop time. falling in love with the potential of them, and that's what I think that we like. We I said hold that's women that back. We would like to give women to. Yeah, you know. stop holding. Stop thinking that these men. I if they don't believe, you. yeah, they ain't gonna change for you. They not. They they if they believed in themselves, they would show it. If they had the potential in themselves, they would do it. Yeah. Like so, you can't be the potential. You can't. You can't. You tell can't them save that you, them. Like, yeah, you like that's what I mean. We can't always be, be trying to save these we men. Be, they gotta want it for themselves. Yeah, and I don't they even, have to believe I in themselves. I don't want no nigga changer for me. Like, I, you gotta be wanting to change for exactly. yourself. Exactly. And then yeah. build with me. But I don't want. Exactly. I don't want to be the reason that anybody does anything. Like, yeah, not, be. Why can't you love yourself? Be that for yourself. Yeah, change for yourself because you want to see it, not because you want that person right. to be that's like who you are. It is like no. Like I don't want you to be. I don't want to be nothing for nobody. I don't want to be. Yeah. Reason why you decide to change your life? I don't want to be the reason. I don't want to be the, nobody's reason. Yeah, because that should be temporary. It do. Girl. So like, a lot of women, y'all just need to. As we talked about red flags, like be aware and just understand that that man is going to change for himself because he wants to and be the man. He knows he can be for you. He got to want to change for himself. He, you Mama. cannot see that in him. You cannot sit here and say, you need to be this man. You need No, if he's, you sit here telling him this every single you day. That. Yeah, like, no, Honestly. no. It's he's not telling you what you got to do as a grown man. Like That's it. You should know. Nobody got And if you don't that. know, then move along. Yeah, like, I don't really know what to tell you. Why should I waste my time with somebody that, that doesn't yeah. know? My time is How precious. to be a man. My time is precious. I don't have time to be teaching you how to be a man. I'm still growing as a woman, and I know who I am as a woman, but I'm still no growing. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not raising you. That's your mama's you job. That's not her job. Yes. Mama's job is to be a mama. Mama's job. Be your daddy. Your mama and your dad job. That ain't our job. Yeah, and you're not about to continue to waste my time for me believing in you, and you don't ever believe in yourself. That makes no damn sense. Yeah. Y'all be real, some good ass liars for real. Yeah, so like. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> it do be sick. I don't get yeah. it. How y'all could just lie so easy <laughs> about everything? It don't even be stuff to lie about. Like, yes. why is you lying about that? You got your fillet. It's Sunday. Why are you? Why are you lying? That's about so that? funny, yo. When you said that, I was cracking up. I'm because... still mad about that to this day. Like, why are you? Wait, what did he say? What was the response again? That he got it a day before or some shit like that? He ain't never said that. He said, "I said, what you eating?" He said, "Chick fil A." I said, "It's Sunday." He said, "I got it earlier." I guess that means yesterday. Why you eat? That's too. That's too. Wait, that's he too said he thing. got it earlier. Earlier, as in earlier today. 
to me, earlier means today. Earlier today. Of, of the Sunday you, that it's If you meant yesterday, then you would have said yesterday, or you would have said last night. Not yeah, that's what I earlier means the same day, don't it? Yeah, that's what I thought, too. He's lying for no reason. That's I it. hope he watched this episode, too, because <laughs> I know you're a liar. That's why I don't. <laughs> 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 Life, no reason. Yeah, that's what I that's funny. But yeah, I mean, that's the point of that is when they show you who, who they are the first time, believe them because they, yeah, they, really they get it right through your head. One, yes. For the one. Literally. Yes. They are going to change on themselves for the one they want. Stop continuing a relationship with a person that's continuously showing you that they're not going to change. Just get, y'all have to understand one that. One chance. That's it. Yeah, and y'all, and y'all gotta stop giving these second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven thousandth chances because that man is not going to change after the first. If you notice that he's not changing the first time after you made a conversation about it, he's not gonna change the second time you made a conversation about it, he's not gonna change the third time, he's just not going to change for you because you are not the woman for him. Mm -hmm. And you have to come to the you fact have that. You accept that. Yeah, as a woman, that's yeah, all I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. You guys are scared to accept that. Right. Like, or like, you're, you're so in love with this person. Right. Y'all think y'all can only be... Y'all think women, for the most part, think mm -hmm. when they fall in love, oh, this is it. Like, yeah. They do. It's not realistic. Like, yeah. Y'all got to think about it. It's not realistic. First of all, we're still young. Some Second of all, know. these men ain't men yet. Like, Me they're yeah. still little boys. Mm -hmm. And My mom said they ain't going to be men until they 40. Yeah. Like, they still little boys. <laughs> we got to stop thinking that when we fall So get your 40 year old. Right. Right. I wouldn't, I wouldn't oblige to that, honestly. <laughs> Man, get you a 40 year old. You gotta stop thinking that when we fall in love, that, that that's it. We don't see nothing else. We don't see nobody else. That's, yeah. that's not healthy. Yeah, it's not. And it's because it's, it's, in that blind, you get blinded to the fact mm -hmm. that they're not doing everything they're supposed to be doing because yeah. you fall in love. Yeah. Nah. Pay attention. You could be in love, but love pay attention is to what they, how they treat you and what they're doing too. Love is not enough. Yeah, please you cut that realize off. that love is not enough. Love comes with compassion. Yeah. Uh, love comes with respect. Love comes with a lot of other things, and if he's not giving you all those other traits that come with being in love, right. then I don't think that you should. Don't just let a nigga keep telling you he love you, he love you, he love you, but he ain't doing nothing to, to actually prove that he love you or yeah. to make you feel Actions like he love you. Actions speak louder than words. Actions mm -hmm. speak louder than words. Show me that you love me. I don't want to hear that shit. Yeah. So you don't even got to say it. Just I would rather you show me than say it at all, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't give a fuck about hearing it. Show me that you love me. Let me yeah. feel that you love me. Yeah. Because that's crazy. Yeah, to me. I'm, little, I'm little three words. I don't give a fuck about that. I can hear that from my daughter every day. <laughs> yes. So, the, what's the last one? Um, If you could give advice, I think I, want, I told you to change the woman. Well, I was going to say both because I feel like we they, what he was saying in that, what he was saying in that. I wanted uh, to see what he said in that film. I mean, that. Oh no! I just I just like some of the stuff he was saying. Like he was just saying that to a younger man, or like to men in their twenties. But I think women should follow the same too. Like why shouldn't women own a gun? Why women well, shouldn't women stay at home with their parents okay. until a so, certain age? So like I agree for both time, of that. If you could give advice to a young person, younger people in in their twenties, and then you know young young whatever what is it? Uh, it was like uh, if early twenties. If we give advice to pe people in their early twenties, did you send that to me? What would it be? Because. The first thing, because we got this from TikTok, so, and it was... If you can give one piece of advice to a guy in his early 20s, what would it be? It won't be on some of my parents' house until you saved up at least 25 grand. I, oh my God, stop right there. I agree with that. Yeah, I agree. So he said basically, like, um, he was talking about for younger men, but this is for men and women. Like, I really feel yeah. like men and women should follow the same suit in their 20s. 20s. In their young 20s. Yeah, so, like, he was saying, you should not move out of your parents' house until... You have saved about twenty five thousand dollars, and I agree. And uh, but so, uh, but a lot of women, but a lot of but a lot of but a lot of kids at that age don't have. So first of all, it's a lot of factors that fall into this. Yeah, like, a lot of parents know. want their kids out at eighteen. Why? Thankfully, yeah, I don't understand stuff like that. I don't understand parents who would do that to their kid because they are not even stable at that time. Like, come on, you got to be realistic. This is realistic here. Like, most of the time, they're either going to college or if they're going to the military or if they're if they're doing like a trade or something, they still need support. To be honest, like, come on, like you, I would never do that to yeah. my. And I we we've, we've had the luxury of having parents who you know are still there for us as we're still growing. Right. And but there's a I lot of people, feel, yeah. And it's a lot of people who don't have that luxury and are getting and kicked feel, out at 18. I really feel bad for y'all, honestly. I, I feel bad because, and I feel on on the other hand of that, I feel like y'all so 
such in a rush to be grown and have your own shit. Having your own shit does that, not does not prove nothing. Honestly. That is a per- that having your own apartment does not prove that you have, does not prove that you have money. You want to you're you're actually having less money. Every yeah. Month than you have to pay rent now. Yeah. Having your own shit does not prove. To me, that don't prove shit. That don't. That don't prove I need that don't. That prove proves shit. that you want to struggle real bad for what? Yeah, you want to struggle. Number one, and that's what I feel like because you don't have twenty five thousand dollars saved. Exactly, and it just doesn't because make sense. If you sense. had twenty five thousand dollars saved up, then you would you would have a house, and right? You, you wouldn't be you you would be stable. You wouldn't you exactly. Know? Like I just feel as though you're like, in a rush to be grown or to, yes. be, or to be by yourself to be independent. Yes, for what? and that's what I'm saying. Like if you're eighteen and you decided not to go to college because a lot of people you know are going to college and you know are still getting supported by their parents, mm-hmm. which is great. Like I, I love people who are doing that because you know college students are broke as hell. They are broke as <laughs> hell, hell, and y'all need they need to. They're trying to get their education so they can get a higher paying job. Like that's just what society has made. You need to go to college to get this degree and get this type of job Which for this type a, of degree. We, we, we That's a whole nother that too because fuck yeah. that. Exactly. So, like, I just feel like, um, that's a good, like, they're getting supported. But for people who are not interested in going and just going straight into the workforce and making money or doing what they need to be doing, mm-hmm. I really feel like y'all should be doing that at home and building up the money that y'all need. Not talking about being bums, not doing what y'all supposed to do. That's when I feel like parents are like, all right, so what is your yeah, plan? you're not doing nothing. Yeah, yeah that's different. just turn 18 and... You know, she needs. She got to do something. Yeah, yeah. My mom not gonna kick her out because she's eighteen. But right. at the same time, you're an adult now. You need to be trying to figure out what you're gonna do. Exactly. Go Tell to me school, your plan. School, work. You need to have some type of plan, and you need to be trying to figure out what you're gonna do. I'm gonna exactly. support you in the meantime. Exactly. But you do need to have a plan, and you need to be trying to figure out what you're gonna do. Right. And tell me, you gotta let your, you gotta be communicating. Like, like, what is your plans? Like, cause as parents, like, of course they're gonna be there for you. They're gonna do everything, but don't take advantage of them. Right. Don't take advantage of the help that they're trying to give you, mm-hmm. because now you're just being an asshole. Like, get yourself together, save that twenty five thousand, because trust me, it is possible. Yes. They got these. Save up your money. It's, yeah. it's way, 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 way harder to save up your money when you're on your own. Yeah, I it is. I promise you. We've and that's what I'm saying. We, we talk from experience, literally, for this yeah, one. We've that's been on our own and we've been with our parents. Like, yeah. It's way easier to save your money and stack your money when mm-hmm. you're living at home. Right. And when, you have something. That, automatically, you got less bills. Right. Automatically. So all that, that money that you're spending, that you're wasting every month in rent. Mm-hmm. We we saving yeah exactly and stacking it up and stacking but it up but that's what I'm saying that I agree with you when you say people are such in a rush there I've like I've had very much people are always in a rush to be like oh I need to get out this house so I can be grown I don't want to be under these rules I don't want to do this right. I don't want to do that I don't want to be around this like come on y'all gotta be serious like I have my my parents had strict not even strict rules like just respect their household. That's not that's, hard. That's what you got to do. What? That's not hard. Respect, no you don't pay no bills in that house. Respect their household. Don't bring anybody overnight because you think that's, oh, I'm grown. I'm this age. I can bring whoever I want. Do not do those stuff like if, that. If parents set rules or boundaries or whatever. Boundaries. Just respect it. It's yeah, that. it's not that hard. Not they, hard. they understand that you are grown. You can leave at whatever hours at the night. Don't bring nobody else back home. If that's their rules, yeah, you know, exactly. just respect the rules. As simple as that. Whatever the rules may be, respect them. Exactly. Like just, just do what you do what you need to do to make to save that money and then move out. And get what you need to do. And and you know, you'll have yeah, that time. Don't be to in a rush. Because we're gonna have our rest. whole lives to be yeah. on our own. Yeah, you gotta get don't be in a oh, rush. Oh shit, I broke the road. I'm screaming. Why, Why you keep this? I don't know. It was already All right, so the second friends and don't date. So he said make friends and don't date. Um, mm, that one, I feel like you can do both. Yeah, do both. But yeah. I really, I really don't believe that people. Date in your twenties so you can learn from learn from your state. Yes. You, you can't know what you want until you date a little bit. Like you yes. have to date to know yeah. what you want, know what you require, know you know know what you're gonna settle for. Or yeah, I know really, what you're not gonna settle for. Rather, don't get into relationships early. I really, yeah. I don't believe that y'all take should longer have. Time to date. Yeah, take longer time to date. There's no rush to settle down. Like literally, twenties yeah. is not that old. Like that's we're still. Young as hell, like, trying to figure out our lives. Yeah, we trying still to figure out. We still have people we're to meet. Really like, young. like you're gonna meet so many more people in your life. Yeah. Why? Don't don't settle and don't yeah. be in a rush for everything. Yeah. Like, don't. Your whole life. Date around. Experience life. Experience like, people. Out what you don't like. Yeah. Out who you want to be around? Who you want to wake up to every day? Like. It's yeah. Like. It's a lot. Yeah. It's not. It's no rush. Stop rushing. That's what I feel yeah. like. Date. Date. Travel. <laughs> Move. Yes, Definitely travel, travel, please, yes. please travel. Like if you have the, 
if well, you're able to travel back off of if you at home it's way easier to travel to. yeah you can literally when you're saving up your money you can yeah you want. exactly travel like travel and don't explore the world, man. Learn its history. Yeah, stop like, overworking yourselves. Uh, this don't. This not. He didn't even say that. But stop overworking yourselves in your twenties because we literally gonna be working for a long time. Exactly. You know, work obviously work to get your money, stacking money. But don't yeah. overwork yourself. You don't. We not slaves. You don't gotta have three and four jobs. It, for what? I hate that. <laughs> what people be like, all that for? It? I hate that. I'm sorry. sorry. Yes, because I do not. You should not be sitting here saying like I need to work two or three jobs. Did it right. to do all this like live I, your life and then be bragging about it like yeah I gotta go to this job that's Mm-mm. okay slave like are you that's okay with that exactly. like it is like I'm not trying to work 24 seven I'm not even trying to work t- more than 24 hours in a yeah. day. Like, what are you Yo, talking about like I'm not working real. I'm not like, working all day every day and not enjoying my life exactly come on man like who wants to do that every single day work I'm every not. single day I'm like not doing that I'm nobody sorry. wants to do that like at all. Mm-mm. Like that's not that shouldn't I'm be not your dream. I'm my whole life to a job. I'm right. not doing that. I'm sorry. I would rather invest that time or you know put that into myself, my own business. Yeah, like, other stuff. Into, Trying to create a little, a little job where I don't got to slave or work every day. Yeah. Sorry, then you got to deal with other people and they're not like nobody wants to do that. Like that going having two to three jobs messes. I feel like it's you, mentally you, you around a lot of energies all day. Yeah. And no time to cleanse your own energy. Like, it's mentally me personally after being around a lot of people for a long time i get yes. drained like that Same. shit drains me and i have to take time where i'm by myself in my own you know space and quietness and to you know rebuild myself back up and i agree just get myself my, my energy a cleanse like i can't be around a whole bunch of people all yes. the time all the time doing stuff for other that's people nuts. all the time that's not taking care of myself yeah nah. it's that's that's really the honest truth for real because i'd be like yeah i can't i can't do that that's just too much it's not for, us. for real what nobody on town that's whatever if you want to do that you can't oh yeah really feel like that's a big deal no it's not if you want to move out okay like you should like there's other places that you can live and create yeah, it's a whole world uh, yeah things. like but you don't have to like who said yeah either. like who said that you had to move out of new jersey you don't gotta move out of new jersey i mean i am but still <laughs> oh it says seek a health care like have a health care health care is that's part of taking care of yourself like yes. yeah you should be going to the doctor First of all, why, why don't you, you have a primary I care? I wanted to say this yesterday. I was telling you this. <laughs> Girls, we have all these appointments. Nail appointment, hair appointment, eyelash appointment, fucking toes appointment. But y'all don't make no doctor's appointments. That's sick to me. It's why don't I like... You know that you're supposed, in order. you're supposed to see a dentist twice a year. Why don't you have a dentist? Yeah, you're, you're supposed to see... about all these other appointments. Worry about your dentist appointment, your doctor's appointment, your OBGYN appointment, whatever yes. you need to go you're to. You're supposed to see a primary care physician. You're supposed to have that under your belt mm-hmm. every year. And don't make it's no excuse that, oh, I don't have health insurance. They have state insurance that you can apply for. And so I'm confused. clinics out there. It's free. It sure is. Planned Parenthood, stop playing with me. Please get checked Take out. Please, care of yourself. Please have a primary health care person that you can see regularly, that you can get to know and stuff like that. That is important. Your health is important. Please stop playing around. Your dental uh, hygiene, just in general, hygiene Take should be important. That like be important to OBGYN you. females, you have to wear like, niggas too, please. Y'all don't. don't be doing nothing. Yeah, they don't. Y'all please don't. Please take care of yourselves. Go to the doctor. Going to the doctor is not gay, or I don't know what y'all think. That does not make you a weak man. That does not make you. I don't know what y'all. Especially think. because y'all are a lot. Y'all are sex m- m- women too. But like, if you are sexually active and free and with frequent people, like you're frequenting with the multiple go people, the you need to be getting go checked out. You need to be making you, sure that you're okay. You really gotta go to the doctor to get checked. You could check yourself at home. For real. Mm-hmm. You could go to the uh, to the pharmacy and get a self home test, or yeah. you could order one online. They'll ship it to your house in discreet packaging. Not that I know. I'm just telling you. Put it out there. Put it out there. If you don't feel comfortable going to the doctor, I don't know why you would feel comfortable going to the doctor, but if you don't, whatever, maybe you don't got the time, whatever the case may be, you don't want to go to the doctor, there's way, there's stuff out there. Yeah, but you should you should have a... That you can, you know, do the take You should... Take yourself and yeah, take care of yourself. Yeah, you should but have you a health care going to the doctor. Like, you should have a doctor. Then he talked about a therapist. I agree. Yeah. I, people, I really agree Mental with people. Important. Yes, I really agree that you sometimes you cannot talk to the people close to you. Like, they might not understand you or, you, you know. Yes, you need somebody who's no trained judgment. in that field. Yes. yes. No that has training. Exactly. Right. So, like, I really believe p- us as black people should have a therapist. Like, or should one day speak to people. Like, if you're not mentally there or you're not mentally stable, I really feel like you should seek 
treat like a help, not even treatment. Like you should just talk to somebody outside who had, does have an unbiased perspective on your life. Like it's yeah. just, I really believe that therapy is one of the things that people be thinking like, well, why are you paying somebody to talk when you can just talk to me? Like, no, it's not. It's not. You. you don't got no type of license, no type of training, no schooling. No and then you don't take me seriously. There's people out there who don't take you seriously when you're talking about I'm I'm really in this spot. And they're like, what do you mean? You got all this. What do talk you know and have for? Like, what? Yeah. Because you, yeah, you can't talk about everything with everybody. Yeah. So, like. That's definitely important, especially in a black community. I don't take it seriously enough. Hold on. Yeah. So, like, I, I really. Was that it for that one? No, it was more. It was another one. He said. Buy a gun and get really good at using it. Get a passport and get really good. At it. Yeah. So the travel, the passport goes with the travel. Get a passport. Get a passport. You yeah. should not be an adult and not have a passport. Yeah, I think. It, yeah, and get a passport. I think you should so you can go places and not have to wait last minute or stress about getting a passport. You should have one as an adult. Yeah. So yeah, and then he said on. Get, he was talking about you know get a, get gun. a gun. I really feel it. And if your state allows you, yeah, you know. I think that you should get a gun and get good at using it. I so agree with that. Gun range. Yes, be 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 you a smart gun yourself. owner. Yeah, no know how to protect, protect yourself. yourself. Be a smart gun owner. Be a smart gun owner, and you be respectful of the laws that you have within yeah, please, your state. If you're gonna get a gun, please don't get a gun and just think you're gonna do whatever fuck you wanna do. Yeah. Know the laws in your state. Yes, please. know the laws in your state. Know please. the laws because the laws are different in every state. They are. And so you definitely need to make sure you know your laws. Make exactly. Sure you know what permits you need. Right. I agree. Et cetera, et cetera. And you know, lock you know, be smart overall. And put it in a safe. Yeah. Be yeah, be 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 smart about it afterwards. Like that's what we say. What else he say? Yes, Go to a gym and work for an eight pack. You really have nothing but time. Pick up a sport. Okay, I don't. Ah. Not for everybody, but you know, live a healthy he life. Say, he said, "Go to the gym and work for an eight pack." I can't. That's not really I don't like when he said that. Yeah, like what, bro? All you have is time. I mean, I think he's talking about for the early, earlier twenty year olds. That's not true. Like, okay, like that's not everybody's goal either. Like, yeah, but just be healthy. Yeah, live a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, get, get at least thirty minutes of exercise in a day. If you can, yeah, just walking. For real. Eat healthy. You yeah. Know, take care of your body. You yeah. You only get one body. If you fuck that shit up, because y'all, I, we know y'all like drinking on the weekends, buying bottles, and it shows with y'all fucking beer. <laughs> Not even on the weekends. Y'all be drinking every, day, every damn right. day. It shows in y'all. Who goes day. to the liquor store at 11 a.m.? Like, that's weird to me every single day. Nasty. Why do you have that time? You Ew. Like, why are you drinking? You alcoholism, sir. <laughs> I just don't like that. If you, and I've seen people do that, and I don't like it. I'll be like, why are, you drink, why are you drinking on a Wednesday? That's a turn off. I don't know. I just don't think Wednesday. Like, no, I mean, you like, should if, only be drinking on a weekend. No, but I mean, like, even if you and drink. celebratory or something. Yeah, or if you go on, like, to have drinks with your girls. Control your, like, I mean, like, you can go there and drink, but when you be. Now, I think liquor store. Bottles every day. That's what I mean. Drinking whole bottles every day. Bottles. Shit shows with yeah. your fat ass bellies. Like, just take live, care of your body. Please, please live a healthy body. lifestyle. We're not talking about get an eight pack, get a ten pack, get a no. Yeah, that's not there the is goals. possibility yeah. of you just going to the gym. It feels good when you go to the gym for real. For real. You working out your body. You're and supposed to be exercising for thirty minutes a day. Yeah, every day. That's mm-hmm. that's that's. You can look that shit up. That's recommended by a doctor. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not making this shit up. Stop eating like a damn ninja turtle. I'm Stop That's eating. That's what, the what's the what's the eating like a ninja turtle? You know they eat pizza all night long. You really? never watched Ninja Turtles? I ha- had them for a while. They eat pizza all night. That's, oh, that's their favorite thing to eat is pizza. He said, "Stop eating like a ninja turtle." So y'all be eating pizza every night. Nasty. Ew. I mean, at least, at least with pizza, if, like and me, because I'm a person that likes to eat out. Like, I'm a takeout person, but I'm going to eat out, takeout at a restaurant. Like, I need some salmon. I need some shrimp pasta. I need some good stuff. Take care of your body. Eat healthy. Stop, I'm not. Stop yes. putting bullshit in your Why, body. Stop eating McDonald's every motherfucking day. Stop eating all that fast food. Any I mean, food. we eat Chick-fil-A every day, but at least Chick-fil-A is real. Only Chick-fil-A. And, and I actually also eat Five Guys, but I actually just watch the TikTok because Five Guys has fresh food. They eat. Their, their french fries just pay are fresh pay to what you're their burgers are. are fresh they do not play about that please pay attention to what you're eating you should not really for real for real do stop eating mcdonald's stop eating burgers stop eating wendy's stop eating all that bullshit and if you don't know what the fuck is in it you shouldn't be eating it like for real eating about start it. eating some fresh vegetables get some stuff from the shop right from the deli or something whatever get some fresh get some fresh vegetables fresh cooking up. vegetables yeah eat enough protein eat enough yeah. dairy if you can you, you should know, take all i'm gonna do that I'm cracking up. Just take care of your body, for real, for real. And then he said, we and drink water. Drink water. If you wake up and you thinking about liquor before you thinking about water, 
as you get, you don't always see us with our water. water. Yeah, I drink water daily. Like, like you really, should not not be you, drinking water. If you want to drink anything else, that should be once a day. Once a day, if you want to drink juice or soda, pick one. Once a day, the rest should be water. For real, <laughs> like, yeah, don't drink a lot of soda. Like, I haven't drank soda in a minute, though. Me to be either. honest, I think I mean I I probably drink soda like twice a week, three times a week. I mean, I could cut that down to twice a week. I can even cut it down to no, because I don't really even need soda, to be honest. I just, I like it. Like, I just like drinking it with, but I really don't even need soda. Like, I can drink water with my meals. If you I can avoid drink, it, avoid it. And if I'm drinking juice, I don't even get, you know, how kids yeah, nowadays do. Right for a kid cup of juice. So I'm like, right, what's this? Yeah, you do. Fill my cup up. Yeah. Right? Give me four ounces of and juice. And that's, that's from the experience of, like, how I used to waste juice back in the day, like, when I was younger. Like, I didn't, like, I really wasn't drinking that much right, juice. Right, for four ounces of juice a cup of I juice. Yeah. yeah, I'm good. And I'll drink that juice and not waste it, and I'll drink the rest water. Like it's just how I I've made myself into it because I really don't need all that juice. You I don't need, need all that. Yeah. One yeah. cup of juice a day, mm-hmm. eight yeah. ounces. You don't gotta be like Mariah. <laughs> four ounces. Don't just stop wasting the damn juice because you know if you if I know Janice will drink all her juice, so that's different. Yeah, I, kids or like Terrell, Terrell would literally fill a cup like this to juice and then drink half of it and then be done with it and then like you're wasting juice, bro. Just uh, but you, usually I put ice in my juice. So yeah, it's like right. Here. Yeah. And I'm topping that shit off of juice. Yeah, and you drink your juice. So like that's what I'm saying. Like just you if you if you realize after a while you're not drinking all that juice, stop pouring that much. You, you don't want to notice the difference in your yeah. pee and everything. Yes, you should. Uh, you should be it's, it, it, first, first of all, that right, your body is made up of how much water? Seventy I should know this, right? Like seventy seven percent. Your body is made up of all water. You should be drinking water, replenishing your body of water. Like it's it's just what you need to be doing. Like that's what you should be doing. You'll notice, like, if you're not drinking enough water, how the color of your pee. And it shows that if you go to the doctors, how your pee looks. You shouldn't be, like, your urine should not be dark. It shouldn't be all that. Like, it. please take care of yourself. Drink that's water. That's pretty much our advice. Yeah. Advice, what is it? So. To have both words. Our way over our time. Yeah. We is. Oh, he talking about this. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. But, yeah, so we're good to go. Thank you. <laughs> That's, That's what we said. Episode 11 of Pretty Savage Talk. Yeah. Thank you guys for this tuning This is one of my favorite waters. I like it. Evian. It's a little expensive, but I'm no going to pay promo. for it. No free promo. No free promo. Sorry. You're going to pay us for that. Um, Evian. <laughs> who I got to get to? For real. This I don't goes. know, but if y'all want us to promote stuff, you're going to have to pay us for that. So <laughs> That's a wrap for us. Peace out. Thank y'all for tuning in. Yeah, thanks. This is our first pre-recorded. Oh, okay, bye. Oh, I didn't. I didn't press that. No, go ahead. We done. <laughs>